Let's do a bend it here once again. Inside my 406. I'm gonna do a cold start pretty much since it's been a weekend, so days since I've started this car up lately and that's what I've been pretty much doing for more than a month or so. I've only been driving it like only once a week. Last time I took it to a hot bulb engine meeting and you know haven't really been driving it a whole lot and didn't put a whole lot of kilometers on it this year mainly because I've been busy and I haven't had time to enjoy it and whatnot. It's pretty much a cold start, not really because it's plus 26 degrees Celsius outside, it's a pretty warm day and it's pretty warm in the garage as well. Maybe a bit colder, I thought it would be warmer, but nope. Turn the AC off, there you go. There. It's a neutral. And not a problem whatsoever. It always starts whenever I need it so. And as you can see it's a bit dusty and whatnot. Mainly because it's been sitting in the garage but it's also a bit dirty because I've cleaned it like two or three weeks ago and directly after it started raining and then I had to drive it back to the garage and it got a bit dirty. Well, apparently I do have time to wash the car, as you can see, it's about 8.5 p.m., so it's still nice outside, it's not dark. So, as you can see, I'm in the place where I usually wash all my cars. Well, as you can see, it's getting close to 10 o'clock in the night. I just cleaned it, as you can see it's nice and clean and I wiped it off recently. Probably can't tell a whole lot of difference on camera, maybe you can, I don't know. Really haven't been doing a whole lot this year, apart from the pump. I replaced the fuel pump. That was a bit hard to do because of the space. Let me pull the seat and show you there and underneath this insulation it used to be a hole but it was quite small it was about this size or so a lot smaller diameter but I don't know what they were thinking when they've done that you know on a lot of cars you were supposed to drop the tank when you replace the fuel pump I didn't want to do it because that's a lot of work, it takes a lot of time and all that, so I didn't do it. I just did what probably wasn't the best method, but it's a very good method as well. Took the plastic cover off. I really tried to access the ring, because there's a ring that tightens up the fuel pump. Well, I couldn't do that. I've tried everything possible, so, you know, not cut it, but in the end, nothing worked. And I've ended up cutting... Uh, huge hole around it and it turned out to be all right and of course then i've changed the fuel pump i broke the old ring so i bought a new ring then i've installed a brand new fuel pump and once i did that of course the metal around i've primed it and then i've painted it with some black color and then i took this piece of aluminum which is almost matching the car's original color and uh, cut it and shaped it you know to be somehow like matching the shape and whatnot it's glued there with windshield silicone and that's some strong stuff and it will pretty much last forever hopefully i won't have to replace the fuel pump in at least 10 years from now of course the pump was good but the part which you know read the fuel wasn't good
that's pretty much what I did to this car this year. I did plan to, you know, get it all nice and finished to fix all the issues and whatnot this year and probably leave the timing belt and the other stuff for next year because, you know, there's a bit of power steering fluid leaking. I believe that it has some dried out O-rings and all that but it's not leaking a whole lot, you know, I can barely notice any difference so it's just a tiny bit actually which is pretty much close to nothing I did buy a laptop from the XP era and did a fresh installation of Windows XP and I bought the PP2000 for the Peugeot and the Lexia 3 for the Citroen I didn't need the Lexia 3 but it came with one installation CD and you know the socket for both OBD1 and OBD2 and a lot of good stuff but unfortunately couldn't get it running I did take it to the diagnostics last year when I purchased it and they couldn't read the codes either but the shop where I took it so diagnostics told me that they replaced the fuse and then it could read the faulty codes and whatnot and I assume that it has the exact same issue I believe it's that same fuse so I don't know what's causing it that's the issue hopefully the wiring isn't bad I don't believe it's bad but I don't know why the fuse has to blow so I'll have to take a look and see what I can do about that it did get a brand new rock chip in here or it was probably older but as you can see you can probably see it on camera but it's very dark now so it does have the typical dings and a few dents here and there and the clear coat is chipping off from here but that's just a tiny bit and of course it does have some light scratches and a few more scratches that aren't that light that are visible but if you walk away like two or three meters from the car it looks mint it looks like it came out of the factory and I've been getting those comments on the internet that this car looks like new <laughs> which it doesn't really but I'm trying you know I'm trying to keep it in as good condition as possible overall it's nice it's great I did wax it a few months ago I usually wax it once a year this part in here used to be rusty and I removed the rust primed it and I touched it up with its original color and as well as clear coat of course it's not pretty but it's all right of course I did that's so all the major rock chips as you can see right in here uh, of course it looks like it's been repaired but hey at least it's not rusty and of course it looks a lot better it certainly improved it and uh, you can pretty much see on the front this was a big rock chip and you know it was really rusty in here so yep you can pretty much see the repairs unfortunately but hey at least it improved it a lot better if you wonder why I'm having this French flag inside the car and I bought it mostly for show because you know after all the car is French that's not the reason why I actually purchased that flag the biggest reason is because I take it to the annual French car meeting show and you know having a flag is pretty damn nice and of course it stays nice and clean because I don't drive it when it rains that way I keep it nice and clean it only gets dusty since it sits in the garage but when it has a thin layer of dust I just wipe it off not a problem but you know when it has a bit of mud like it had this time well I usually clean it I don't clean it all that often only every once in a while and here we are a few days later today I took it out again a few days later obviously today I vacuum clean it again because it wasn't dirty but kind of got a bit of dirt again since I vacuum cleaned it last time a few months ago and I've also cleaned all the mats today and I just got done so thought I'll show you how it looks like as you can see it's beautiful indeed interior looks nice and clean but I'm still not done cleaning it there's still a bit left obviously because I cleaned all the plastic parts and vinyl and whatnot apart from the seats so I basically cleaned the pillars and the entire dashboard door panels and of course every single piece of plastic and uh, then I vacuum clean it properly but it's not 100% done yet but at least it's clean what I need to do is 
go over the dashboard again and clean it a bit again because it's a bit dirty and then treat it with the thing called vinyl glass and then it will shine like new and it will be anti static for a good while and of course I'll treat all the other plastic and vinyl material then I'll clean and treat the leather so that's the seats and this section of the door panels get them all nice and clean but before I'll do that I'll clean every textile part so since the seats are half leather I'll start off by cleaning the cloth part first and I'll obviously clean the floors as well kind of looks nice and clean I just vacuumed it today but it's only vacuumed it's not clean but I'm planning to clean it pretty soon and of course this part on the trunk is not there as you can see plan to mount it earlier but I can't find the clips so I think I'll end up having to look for some clips and this section right here I've ordered a new one but the post didn't treat it well so I'll have to order another one which sucks the dealership should have one Nothing wrong with it, but the chrome part is kind of cheap in as you can see and it's a common issue on the 406s Well, really that's pretty much all I have to say about the 406 this year I'm probably gonna do a video later on to tell you the exact things I did to it since I got it Because I do have a lot of pictures from both last year and this year Now I'm gonna end this video before it gets so dark Hope you liked it, if you did, why not? Thumbs up, check out my other videos, if you like what I'm doing, I'll not subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers!